Hey guys, it's Jessica. So today I have a Louis Vuitton repair update and I actually went to Louis Vuitton to pick up my bag that was being repaired. So in this video, I am going to talk about how much it costs to repair, how long it took, and if I had any issues during the repair process. So if you're interested in that, then keep watching. So back in May 2022, I took my bag in to the Louis Vuitton repair facility in South Coast Plaza. I told them that I had a concern about it and I left it there so it could get repaired. It was supposed to be ready in November of 2022, but um, for some reason, it was not ready i told my husband hey i just want to go ask to see what's going on with the repair on the bag because i called the 1-800 number and they had no information for me uh all they would tell me is we're gonna have the store contact you the store would never contact me so that was a little frustrating once we were there i told my husband for us to go in this was probably around december because i remember we were doing christmas shopping i asked them you know if they had an update so what ended up happening is they told me that the girl that was handling my repair, like the one that processed it, the CA that processed it, um, that she was no longer working there and that it took time for the her accounts to transfer to somebody else. It seemed really weird and I was like, okay, so is the bag ready? what's going on she went in the back she did her research she comes back and tells me that my bag hasn't even been rep like repaired yet so at this point it's december i dropped it off in may she said no we don't have the parts they had to be ordered and that takes a lot longer i understand that you know the girl that was helping me she no longer worked there but i just thought that it wasn't really they weren't very organized in my opinion either way she gave me her phone number she was really nice she was really sweet she gave me her phone number and she told me that she was going to text me as soon as she had an update so somehow from the day i was there till the end of january because i think i got a text message january 30 30th when i was up in big bear um i get a text message saying that my bag is ready so i was christmas shopping towards the end of christmas so i'm gonna say around the 22nd maybe even the 23rd <laughs> because i'm a last minute shopper so from it, it took them a month to push my bag to get repaired so i really that makes me think i think that they just pushed my bag aside and maybe during the transfer with the ca and her leaving i'm not sure if that had something to do with it but it seems a little weird to me because i've never had this happen before and i've had a few things repaired through louis vuitton and they're usually very like fast and they're on it but i don't know when i was there in december she also told me that the price was gonna be more than what they initially quoted me so they gave me a price of 240 dollars to repair the bag and she said it was going to be 340 dollars so i don't know if that had something to do with the price increase on the repairs because i know that there was a price increase on the repairs i'm not sure if that had something to do with it but i told her hold on i have a paper where she gave me this price she said this was going to be the price for it so um she went ahead and told me that i was going to pay whatever price they had given me which was the 240 dollars not to worry about it i was like okay so with all that backstory here is the bag and let me just say that i love the dust bag they gave me this time because it's like the drawstring bag i don't know i just think i i, I really like these dust bags let's go ahead and open it okay so here 
is my bag. I have the Alma PM in the Vernie leather, right? Vernie leather. Yes. <laughs> the Vernie leather. And the problem that I had with this bag was that the handles were sticky. I've heard from different people that that usually happens, that it means that the coating has melted and that it's a defect but when i took it in they said that it was regular wear and tear but they told me that it can also happen in storage depending on the way you store it i don't keep it in the box she, she i already knew that you're not supposed to keep it in the box but she told me please make sure you don't keep it in the box i said no i don't here is what i got done so they did the two handles and so this is all brand new leather and it feels really nice. Um, I think they only did, yeah, I think they only did the handles. The hardware looks really nice actually. It actually looks really new. I wonder there's absolutely no scratch on the hardware let me show you guys it's gonna be so hard for you guys to see that but there's no scratches no dents I wonder if they switched out huh I wonder if they switched out the hardware or maybe I just had good hardware. I'm not sure. Looks really good. Before when I would lay the bag like this, it would stick. Like it was so sticky. And I've heard different people say that they have gotten their bag switched to a new bag. And... I wasn't really looking for that, but if that was an option, then I would have taken that option. I'm not sure if they still make this bag. I don't think I've seen it on the website. Um, so maybe I would have just had to keep it and just fix the handles. I got this pre-loved and I did pay a good price on this. I got this for $600 from Her Authentic and it is a beautiful bag it's in beautiful condition it's a little dusty um it did have like a little dent when i got it from them because it was like smashed but i'm going i'm going to stuff it when i store it the glazing looks good the stitching looks good so i am happy with the 240 dollars that i paid to get this bag repaired like i said the the handles were way too sticky. I remember the last time I wore it that I took it out and um, I went to the Tiffany & Company store. And when I had this in my arm and when I would get close to like the glass, you can hear the stickiness just sticking. Like the, the handles were sticking to the glass. And it was just, it bothered me. So yeah, I am really happy with how they feel they feel really good i don't feel like i paid too too much but yeah um let me know if you guys had the same issue with the sticky handles like i said i have heard from other people and they've gotten it repaired for free unfortunately i did pay but it's okay because i feel that this bag is gonna last me a really long time let me show you guys the inside of this bag because it is it looks still looks so good i think this bag is from let's see this bag is from 2013 so it still looks so good so i actually got a lot of compliments in the lv store on how good this bag looked for how old it is so like i said i don't use it much but i did buy it, buy it pre-loved and i am happy with my purchase that i made and this bag is so beautiful um and it feels so nice i love i love this bag and the alma is one of my favorite um bags that louis vuitton makes i have four of them 
I have three PMs and one BB. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one.